Well, uh, one of my YouTube members, L Train ninety eight thirty nine, he actually asked about the mob's involvement in uh, Sunny Liston, and there was you know the rumor that the Liston actually took a dive against Muhammad Ali because he was paid off. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. But he was wasn't Sunny Liston like kind of like a like muscle for the mob at one point. When yeah, beating people up and yeah, breaking yeah. hands and, and the such. Yeah, but I don't think he took a dive. You don't think so? No. Did you ever come in contact with Sonny Listen? As a kid, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, my father was a huge fight fan. Aha. Uh -huh. So I went to fights with my dad, you know, back in uh, in Brooklyn and and uh, New York. But I don't think he took a dive. You don't think so? If he did, it wasn't from the mob. Let's put it that way. It's from someone else. Yeah. If it happened, fair enough. Well, uh, let's talk about Las Vegas for a second. Now, Las Vegas was built by the mob. Yeah. I think that's that's history at this point. 100%. You know, the mobsters wanted to build a bunch of hotels in the middle of the desert. Nobody was going to give them any money. Mm -hmm. They approached Jimmy Hoffa, mm -hmm. who had uh, the Teamsters Pension Fund, and he lent them the money. Yep. And, uh, you know, ultimately, Jimmy Hoffa disappeared <laughs> at some point. You know, you said he's in a barrel somewhere in a lake. But ultimately, his body was never found. Correct. But speaking of lakes, there's a big lake in Las Vegas called Lake Mead. And because of global warming, this lake is drying up. And how many bodies have they found so far in this lake? The bodies are popping up. Popping up in yeah. barrels with bullets in the back of their head. Very mafia-style yeah. Killings. It was a dumping ground. There's no question. Okay. Yeah. 100%. So were you aware, without getting any, any specifics, were you aware that mafia guys were dumping bodies in Lake Mead? Yeah. So that was like a thing. Yes. Everyone knew about this. Not everyone, but <laughs> people yes. in the know. Yes. Well, because, for example, when you watch, um, what was it, Casino, mm -hmm. you know, it starts off with, you know, Joe Pesci's character talking about, you know, burying bodies in the desert. Mm-hmm. I mean, do people usually do that as opposed to the lake? Or is there a preferred method of, of getting rid of bodies? It's the most secure place that you can find, you know? So, you know, lake, I mean, that lake was secure at that time. So they, they dump bodies there, you know? There's a place in Brooklyn that, uh, you know, people used to dump bodies. Um, listen, I don't want to sound like an expert on this, but, you know, whenever you're... When there's a hit coming down, the best thing is that the body is never found. Mm -hmm. You have no body, tough. I mean, today it's different. In the federal you know, system, it's different. You don't have to have a body anymore. But in the state, normally the body had to be produced. And normally, uh, murder was a state crime. It wasn't a federal crime until mm -hmm. the RICO Act made it a federal crime also. It became a, you know, one of the, one of the uh, charges. But um, you don't want a body to be found. I mean, people always said that. And there was always thinking of ways or places to put a body. That's why with Roy DeMeo, you chop it up, there's no body. How are you going to convict me? Prove it. Where's the guy? Maybe he left on vacation, married somebody else. You know, who knows? Hmm. So it's hard to prove murder in a state case when you don't have a body. Yeah, no face, no case. That's exactly. Right. If you can't find someone's face, then. <laughs> exactly. So right. you know, somebody I heard, uh, what was it, that they would chop up. They they would dispose of the head and the hands because if they just find a torso, they can't really match it to anything. Yeah, because it's basically a dental records or and, fingerprints and fingerprints. Exactly. So yeah. basically, if you get rid of the head and the hands and and you dump the rest good. of it somewhere, if they find that, yeah, you know, apart from the person's sex and their approximate age and their yeah. nationality, you don't really very know difficult. who the hell this is. It's very difficult to prove. Yeah. 